everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today I'm going to quickly talk about berberine and the lowering blood sugar levels and basically how it works, the benefits, optimal dosage, warnings and side effects, and basically how to also make it work better and remove any potential negatives. So with that said, let's get started with today's subscriber question that I received about berberine. Um, it goes, Dr. Sam, I know you've stated many times that managing your blood sugar levels is really important for your health, your fitness and longevity, physically, mentally, and even emotionally. Unfortunately, my doctor just told me that I am pre-diabetic and I need to lower my blood sugar and A1C levels. He wanted to prescribe me a drug called metformin, but then my friend said how an herb called berberine is just as effective, but without the negative side effects. Is this true? What are the benefits and the negatives of berberine? What about dosage? Do you take it or have any experience with it? Thanks and sorry for all the questions, but I don't want to become diabetic. Yes, I have had experience with it for many years. First of all, don't worry about becoming type two diabetic for anyone's freaking out, all right? Um, you can avoid it and you can even fix it if you are type two diabetic by improving your lifestyle, all right? You don't have to take drugs. Lifestyle is super important when it comes to blood sugar management. And of course, you should always speak to your doctor before you do anything. Now with that said, let's talk about berberine. First of all, the good news is that it happens to actually be one of the most effective supplements that actually works and, he's, and has even been shown to be as effective as pharmaceutical drugs. Um, it also basically helps support healthy blood sugar levels, causes weight loss, and improved heart health. Of course, just because it's natural doesn't mean it's totally safe because it does have some negative side effects and I'll reveal those in a minute. Okay, so how does it work? I'll keep it simple. One of the main actions of berberine is to activate an enzyme inside cells called AMP. It's called activated protein kinase. This enzyme is sometimes referred to as the quote unquote metabolic master switch. And it's found in various cells, including the brain, your muscles, your kidney, heart, liver. So it's really powerful and is helps regulate metabolism. Now, the next question is, what are the benefits? As stated earlier, um, berberine does help with weight loss and promotes healthy cholesterol levels and heart health and all that. However, the main benefit or the reason people do take berberine is for healthy blood sugar levels. In fact, many studies have shown that berberine can significantly reduce blood sugar levels in individuals with type 2 diabetes, so that's really cool. In fact, its effectiveness is compared to popular drugs such as metformin, glucophage. Um, so your friend is right, and it works through multiple different mechanisms. Um, it helps decrease insulin resistance, basically making insulin more effective. It increases glycolysis, which helps the body break down sugars inside cells. It decreases sugar production in the liver. It also slows down the breakdown of carbohydrates in the gut, and it even increases the number of beneficial bacteria in the gut. So a lot of, lot of good benefits. Um, there's been studies that shows that one gram of uh, berberine in, in diabetic patients um, can lower blood sugar levels by 20%. Um, it also helps lower uh, hemoglobin A1C levels. And uh, it also, in 14 different studies, berberine, again, was just as effective as um, drugs such as metformin at very high dosages. Again, it works very well with lifestyle modifications and also has the added effects of, you know, um, works better with other blood sugar lowering herbs, which I'll cover in uh, in a minute. Again, simply stated, berberine really works in both clinical studies and in the real world. Now let's talk about dosage and side effects. As stated earlier, even though it's a natural supplement, it still has negative side effects. And many times as with anything, it is dose related. And I'll talk about that in a minute. Now the effective dose is as little as 500 milligrams to 1500 milligrams daily, even 2000 milligrams. Um, if you take the higher dose, it should be spread out throughout the day. So for example, if you're gonna take 1500 milligrams, take 500 milligrams three times daily. It should be taken with a carb containing meal, ideally a little bit before the meal, 10, 20, maybe 30 minutes before the meal to help with the blood sugar levels. Um, obviously again, the higher the dose, the more effective it is. However, higher dosages have also um, digestive related side effects such as cramping or diarrhea or constipation, uh, flatulence, acid reflux or heartburn, and just basic general discomfort, you know, stomach discomfort and pain. So my suggestion is start with 500 milligrams daily with a carb meal for a couple of weeks, all right? See how you feel before you take the higher dose and then go to 500 milligrams twice a day and then 500 milligrams three times a day if you wanna give it a try. But again, there are better ways to make it more effective without any of the extra negative side effects. 
All right, so how do we make it better and safer? Well, in the athletic world, such as you know bodybuilders or Olympic and professional athletes um, who take performance enhancement drugs, they've discovered for many, many decades that when you stack different drugs together, but at a lower dose of each, there's a special synergy, right? The end result is much better results, more effectiveness, but at a much lower negative side effect. Thus, there's a synergy is like one plus one plus one equals five and not three. Now, this concept can also be applied to specific herbs. So if you're, for example, if you utilize a specific other proven, you know, sugar lowering herbs together, you get much better results, but without the negative side effects of just one ingredient. Thus, stacking or using berberine with other clinically researched ingredients such as cinnamon extract, or alpha lipoic acid, um, bitter melon, banana leaf, vanadol sulfate, and a few other key uh, vitamins and minerals. Basically, together they promote much healthy blood sugar levels and even better results, but without any of the negative side effects of just taking too high a dose of berberine. Of course, you know the problem with this then is taking all these individual uh, ingredients, uh, you know, individually becomes a hassle, it's obviously inconvenient and super expensive. Um, but the good news is that there are some special, you know, specific products that utilize berberine with all these other ingredients, components in one simple pill. And I've listed the ones below, the ones that I take. So in conclusion, berberine is a very effective supplement. It has many health benefits such as weight loss, heart health, especially blood sugar support. The ideal dose is between 500 to as high as 1500, even 2000 milligrams a day. Better to spread it apart throughout the day with carb-containing meals. In clinical studies, at high dosages, berberine has been shown to be as effective as oral medications such as metformin. The higher the dose, the more stomach and digestive problems, side effects. And by utilizing or stacking berberine at a lower dose, but with other sugar-lowering supplements, makes it more effective, makes it more cost-effective as well, while dramatically lowering the negative uh, side effects. And I've listed the best ones below this video and what I personally use. Remember, all of this should be utilized with an improved lifestyle, right? Of eating more natural foods, daily exercise, and stress reduction. So I hope this was helpful. Um, please let me know your questions and comments below on what I can improve in future videos. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and I wish you a very happy and healthy day.